What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we have from PCS the one quarter scale Michael Myers statue. This thing's been out not so long really. Um, I just received this though today and <laughs> I cannot wait to get this thing open. This has been something I've been working for for a couple months now. I pre-ordered it back in August and it's finally here and I am just ready to get this thing open so let's not waste any more time let's roll that intro and then we will get started on this unboxing <music> All right, everyone, like I was saying, this is the PCS one quarter scale Michael Myers statue, and that's what we're going to work on tonight. We're going to unbox this thing up. We're going to take a look at it, and then we're going to get some cool footage of this thing to show everyone how awesome it looks. Um, but before we go any further, take this time, if you like what you're seeing, to subscribe to the channel. Also, blow up the comment section, so it helps me when you do that, and I do appreciate having good conversation with everyone who watches these videos. But anyways, I'm not going to waste much more time on that so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and get an overhead of this thing but i don't know if my camera will pick it up because this is a big box but let's go ahead and let's switch to the overhead on this and let's get to unboxing this statue okay so here we go um this is the front of the box actually so you got pcs premium collectible stat or studio up here sorry i thought that said statue studio and then down here, you got the John Carpenter's Halloween one quarter still collectible slasher exclusive. So Sideshow and PCS, they were putting out an exclusive. You could get the regular one that had a, a normal knife, like there was nothing on it. And then there was the slasher exclusive, which you got a bloody knife on it. And I went ahead with that because it was the exclusive. I thought it was cool. I'm not going to flip this box over tall ways, but down here it says I got 649 of 1500 pieces. So that's pretty cool. A um, little bit lower number. It's not a one or a two or anything like that. But it's not the you know highest number you could get. Um, on the side here, I don't know if you can see. Um, it's just it's basically just got the Halloween graphic here. So I'm gonna flip it over to the back, and it gives you a little bit more of an idea going on right here of what the statue will look like once it's out of the box. And same stuff, just smaller scale on the titling and everything here. And then you got some legalese, barcodes, stuff like that. So the box overall is pretty cool looking. Um, it's just got what, what you would expect with the Halloween movie. It's got the Halloween graphics from the first movie, um, the picture of Michael. And, um, I mean, it's a, it's a good looking representation of what is inside of this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the styrofoam out of this box here. We're going to start taking this piece out individually, showing you what's in here, and then we're going to build it. So let's go ahead and let's start on that now. All right, so here we go. You can see right off the bat here, this was inside the box, and it tells you right there, 649 of 1,500. So that's a pretty cool little card that comes with it um, the packaging on this is, is really good it's some of the better packaging you got the velcro straps so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna tear into this and we're gonna see what's in the styrofoam uh, it should pop off just like that like so get those out of the way and here we go hopefully this pops yes easy oh look at that all right, so there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I want to carefully unwrap all this as uh, best as I can. So there's a hand. Oh, so with this one, you, it's, it was the same price. So I didn't pay any extra for the exclusive as opposed to um, just the regular one. And you get both blades here. So there's the clean blade and you get the bloody one as well. So you have options here. And I do like that. This is the base. We're getting out of the wrapper here. And it's, that thing's pretty heavy. So that's nice. Use this for trash. Um, let's go ahead. The pumpkin here. So this, this does come with a lot of cool stuff. And like I said, we're... 
we're going to cover all of it and then build this thing up and show it off. That out so there's a hand over here wow this is awesome get all this out of here and then here's the statue itself It's, it's got soft goods on it as well. And I thought I saw a review on this where this piece had um, actual hair on the head sculpt. And I'm that's cool. I don't know how I feel about it yet. So we'll see as we're, we're you know, going along with this thing. But, okay, I think I got everything out of the, the, the plastic wrap. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start taking a look at everything here. Um, let's start with the hand sculpts first since they're closest. And you can see right off the bat, here is one of them. So that is the one that's clean. That looks really good. And then uh, it's the same hand sculpt. They just dirtied up the blade a little bit on it. And if I can get it out of here, so you can you can see that right there. They just uh, they added a little blood splatter. Uh, to the blade there to make it look cool and honestly that's, that's probably the one i'll use i think I, I paid for the exclusive as in i got it for the same price um but i'm i got the exclusive to use with the bloody blade so let's move on to the pumpkin so this thing i believe yeah it lights up and there should be batteries somewhere in here i'll have to find them but that's what you get right here this piece Right here looks to be the top. So, yeah, that's going to fit in a certain way on there. And then you'll have basically a full jack-o'-lantern to go with this. And it does have, there it is, it has a light-up function. I'm not going to take that apart. So, the other hand right here. Pretty cool. It's got some good detail on it. Now... This is going to be awesome. This is the face sculpt on this. And yes, it, it's actual kind of, it's not sculpted hair. It's, it's actually slick back kind of wig style hair. But look at that, that thing. Oh, <laughs> that looks good. This looks awesome. And then over on the side here, you've got the, um, the stab mark there from where she stabs him with the, um, whatever those are called. Like, not sewing, but weaving or whatever kind of needle. She stabs them in that. So, it, they got some good detail on it. And then, like I was saying, with the actual statue itself, comes with soft goods on it. So, this thing is 23 inches tall, and I believe that is with the platform here. Um, and then, uh, I think it's like 14 wide or something like that. It's not super huge, but it's not a super small piece either um, but you can see it's got the jumpsuit and the jumpsuit is soft goods and uh, it's probably going to be difficult to get these pieces in here but we're going to get it we're going to get it here um, filmed in a minute we're going to switch up the, the angle here and uh, you know put this thing together but I want to show you the base because there's something really cool going on with the base here and I hope you can see this First off, there's everything on the bottom you want to know right there. John Carpenter's Halloween one-quarter scale statue slasher exclusive limited to 649 pieces. So I've said that three times now. Um, but there are, if you can see here, there are parts of the movie engraved into the, the base, which is really, really cool. Um, that's the closet scene right there with Laurie and Michael. Um that looks like Annie right there on the bed. And then just like young Michael when he started doing all the killing. So pretty cool that they, they've went ahead and they've sculpted that into it. And then there, it's, it's made to look like the house as well. And there is uh, the address. Which is, let me show you that again. The address right here. Um, just a lot of good detail in the base of this. 
And one of the cool things that they did is this is actually a line that PCS is doing. So there was a Jason, there's been a Freddy. I think there is a, a ghost face coming out. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a leather face as well. And this is just the first one I bought. And I, I just, I missed out on all the other ones, unfortunately. But out of all of them, this is the one that I would want the most. So pretty cool that I was able to get in on that. But let's go ahead and let's switch up this camera and let's build this thing up now. Okay, so I think we are situated now. And I've got the base already lined up here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the, the body on this thing. So it's going to be the biggest piece of the statue. And it should just notch right into the base. And it should just be that simple. So let's, let's hope so. I'm going to go ahead and we'll grab that. And I think I've got it turned correctly. So this is just going to fit in just like that. So there it is. And then um, I think we'll, we'll go with the headpiece next. And we'll actually gauge and see how tall this is. I think that is going to be just as simple. And yeah, should fit just like that. So... Uh, that's looks like that's the the two easy parts um really there's there's not a whole lot to put together here uh now that i'm getting everything out so um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna work on the arms now as well so we're gonna go bloody knife and maybe if i'm lucky maybe that'll fit just as easy Maybe I can pull back the soft goods a little bit. But. Oh, it magnets in. So that. Wow, that made that really, really easy. Um, yeah, that just pops right in with the magnet. And uh, hopefully the other one will do that as well. So we got one, one more piece here and we got the pumpkin as well. And um, I've, I've put the batteries in already just to save a little bit of time. But let me go ahead and grab the arm here. I'll just grab the pumpkin too. Dropped it. So the top of the jack-o'-lantern actually does not... Um, magnetize in or anything it literally it just sets on top so if, if you turn this thing funny it will fall out so if i'm lucky hopefully this arm will connect just as easy as the other one and it does wow so that 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 was super simple um that's it so there it is built right there. And then, you know, if you want to flip on the jack-o'-lantern here. And there it is. So that that's awesome. I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, if you wanted to, um, you could really kind of mess with these, these clothes a little bit. Um, the hair, I've seen people... Um, get some water, you know, a little bit of water, some dampness to the hair, and they kind of they mess it up like the mask. They make it look a little more realistic. I don't think I'm going to do that. Mine slicked back pretty well right now. Um, it could be a bit more messy, um, but I'm I'm not going to worry about that if I'm being honest. Uh, but this, <laughs> this is worth it. So, and these are still in stock on Sideshow, I believe. So, if you have points or if you um, have, you know, a couple hundred extra bucks to spend on something and you're a fan of this franchise, this might be something you want. So this is definitely going to set here in the background on a lot of these videos. So I'm, I'm super happy, super proud to own this piece. And at some point, you know, in life, this is probably going to always be a centerpiece along with my, my swamp thing that some of you have probably seen me unbox in the past. Uh, but this is awesome. So, um, I have really enjoyed doing this. Uh, PCS does have a few more things coming out in the near future, hopefully. 
I am a super huge Ninja Turtle fan, and I know that they just announced or previewed a last Ronin piece. I was behind on the Ninja Turtle pieces, so I didn't get like Raphael or Donatello. And, you know, they're they're coming out now and they look really, really cool with the shredder and everything. And I'm part of me's happy I missed out because I don't have to spend all that money. But the other part of me wishes I would have jumped on it early and got that whole set. But I think I'm going to settle for the last Ronin. But anyways, I think that is about it. So we're going to get some some really good close ups of this right now to kind of exit out of this video. But anyways, if you're watching this, like I said earlier, you're not subscribed to the channel, stick around, click that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, blow up that comments, uh, tell me if you like this thing. If you hate it, you're not going to hurt my feelings, so go ahead and just blow up the comments and hit that like button, and um, I will catch you all next week with another hot toy that's coming out. I anticipated opening that actually this week, but I'm going to put it off a week and we'll get that out too very, very soon. But anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you for stopping by, everyone. And I will catch you all in the next video. So stay strange, everyone.